Let's be honest, finding the right prop for your quad can be a pain in the ass, especially if you're a beginner like me. I mean, there's so many choices when it comes to materials, what kind of pitch do I choose, all these different brand form shapes. Luckily, I got some help from you guys when I asked what kind of prop you fly, what do you recommend, and I think I was able to find the right match for me. With these props, I got more control over my drone, and they are super durable, which is especially nice for me as a beginner because I need less time to repair my drone, I can practice more and progress faster in the long run. So to put the props to the test, I decided to go to the new spot I found in my previous video. Little did I know that this would lead to one of the biggest challenges I had to face in this hobby until now. So apparently the Armitan Badger frame has some well-known issues when it comes to vibrations. When I mentioned it to you guys that I had some problems with high throttle oscillations or vibrations, a few of you guys mentioned I maybe had to try some different props. And I got a lot of recommendations, so thanks for that. And eventually I decided to go for the Ethics P1, no, P3, P3 props, or also known as the peanut butter jelly props. Now let's do a quick warm up first. I'm always so excited for the first pack. <laughs> I have to admit that I'm pretty surprised how much difference the, uh, the pitch makes. I thought it was a lot of marketing BS. Yeah, I have a lot more throttle resolution, which is very nice for me as a beginner because my finger control isn't very good yet. <laughs> So I have one pack left before I have to leave. Yeah, I want to do one cool thing and I'm looking around to see what it could be. I'm always on the lookout for a new challenge, something to do before I end my session to push myself to the limit and then I saw this road barrier. It already caught my attention a few times, I already did a few passes underneath the chain. But now I wanted to do a split S over the chain and then fly underneath it. I did a few test runs trying to get the timing just right. It was especially hard to get the drone to stop just before it hit the tarmac. I'm charging one more pack at uh, 3C right now. The, the pack said I am uh, only allowed to charge it up to 2C. Uh, so I took my oldest pack, uh, charging it away from my van outside in the ammo box. I hope it will be fine. And uh, it's not, it must be a sign that I shouldn't try this uh, as uh, split as today. About, uh, about the props, 
they took some hits a little bit damaged but i have to say they are very very durable uh, especially compared to the previous props I had, the, the ACQ prop V2S, uh, which are pretty nice, but every time when I uh, crashed upside down, they are always dent, cracked, and when they are bent, I, I just had to replace them because uh, the motors or the props sounded to start very angry. Until now, these are very nice. While I have this charging, let's take a closer look at that gap. I hope uh, everything goes well. I mean, uh, let's be honest, it's, it's not that crazy, right? Well, I can, I can fit underneath myself. But I'm a little bit afraid of this uh, concrete guy. Ah, luckily the van is still there. Uh-oh, switching to the DVR view, that means something must have been gone wrong. As you can see, I bumped the belly of the drone on the Termac. It was able to fly away and then suddenly one of the motors stopped spinning. When I got to the drone, I unplugged the battery without stopping the video recording. So that made the video file on the SD card go corrupt. The motor is stuck. I'm not sure if something is in there or that the bell is bent. No, guys, it seems like I, I can't fix it right now. The next few days, the weather is going to be bad again. To be continued. Unfortunately, it was hard to get the motor bell off because the screw that holds the bell was stripped. But eventually I was able to do it and I noticed that the bell was indeed bent. The windings were still good so I just replaced the bell for a new one. And everything was good to go. So we finally made it back to the spot almost a week later. Uh, unfortunately the weather wasn't too good, but finally the spring is kicking in. Check out all these nice flowers in this field. And as you may notice I also start losing uh, some hair because of this uh, crazy stressful hobby. What I forgot to mention is that I'm still using the same props as I started using in the previous session when I started to learn this new uh, gap. I noticed the crash really got into my head. In the last few months I've spending a lot of learning money, replacing flight controller, ESC, the O3 air unit. That's why I was afraid of breaking the drone again. But of course fixing and replacing parts is part of the game and I really wanted to do this new trick. The drone took some nasty hits but it survived most of the crashes. This made me confident that I was able to pull this off. At this point I am so tensed trying this. This is not even that, that great, right? It's just... Here I kind of pulled it off but I just hit the ground and I just wasn't happy with it. At this point I got really frustrated but I kept trying. And then... Yes! Oh my! Got it baby! So will these props help you progress faster in FPV or me? As you can see, you probably still have to practice 
your skills a lot. I have to say it's very convenient that these props are so durable. For me personally, throttle resolution is very nice. Instead of the time spending fixing your drone, you can practice more. So eventually you probably go to progress a little bit faster. Anyway, if you made it through the whole video, I want to thank you for watching. Please consider liking the video. It really helps the channel out. And also please let me know down in the comments what was the last thing you were very stoked about. So again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.